Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my members, Samir Z Zaki. I hope I didn't mispronounce your name. Thank you for becoming a member again and supporting the channel. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Members are given shout outs in my videos. So if you have a math channel, that is going to be a really good thing to consider. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's problem. We have this exponential equation, 12 to the power x equals 18, and we're supposed to evaluate numerically 2 to the power 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 2. I'll be presenting three methods. Yes, that's right. So let's start with the first one. My first method involves logging both sides with base 12. So let's go ahead and do log with base 12, 12 to the power x, and then we're going to log the right-hand side as well. And we're going to use properties of logarithms. If you haven't studied logarithms and you know about exponentials, they're very easy to learn. There's a basic definition, and there are some rules that come from the definition. It's really fun to do. So I'm going to go ahead and move this x to the front, and that's going to be like x times uh, log with base 12 of 12. So that's going to be 1 when these two numbers are the same. It's always 1. So this is going to give me x. That's the cool part about it. And then we're going to get this, you know, thing, right? Now, I'm, I'm going to use change of base formula. And change of base formula, I'm going to uh, turn these into uh, base 10. You can use ln, you can use any base, and, you know, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to use base 10 because I use ln a lot, ln, which is the natural logarithm. Uh, so... I guess this is called common logarithm, right? Base 10. Anyway, so we can write this x as log 18 over log 12. One of the coolest things about using base 10 is you don't have to say the base. So when you read it, it's not awkward like log with base, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Anyways, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you are breaking down a number, uh, you have to think about it as prime factorization. So it's kind of like log... 9 plus log 2 because 18 can be written as 9 times 2 and we have another property that says the log of a product is the sum of the logs that kind of make up the product and then 12 can be broken down uh, as 4 and 3 notice that I'm trying to keep the 2s and 3s separate so kind of like the considering the prime factorization great now we're going to use another property because uh, 9 can be written as 3 squared and 4 can be written as 2 squared, otherwise the others are good because they're prime. Now we can go ahead and move these powers to the front, and that gives us 2 log 3 plus log 2, divided by uh, 2 log 2 plus log 3. See how convenient it is without saying the base. And then we're going to have to, well, this is equal to x, right? So let's go ahead and uh, distribute. Uh, we're going to get uh, 2 log 3 plus log 2 equals, if you multiply everything by x, 2x log 2 plus x log 3. I want to write the x first because when I write it like log 2 times x, like log 2x, doesn't look right. So that's why I want to write the x first. Good. So from here, here's my goal. I distributed the x over and I kind of want to separate the log 3 and log 2 and then I want to get the ratio. Make sense? I hope it does. So let's go ahead and put the, uh, let's see, how is this going to work nicely? I don't know. I'll put the log 3 on the left-hand side. I hope that works nicely. Uh, minus x log 3, and then put the log 2 on the right-hand side. It's going to be 2x log 2 minus log 2. And then factor out log 3, so you're going to get 2 minus x times log 3 equals 2x minus 1 times log 2. I hope this makes sense now because we had this type of quotient, right? So from here, we can write the log 3 over log 2 as 2x minus 1 over 2 minus x. Now notice that uh, our expression, we were trying to evaluate 2 to the power 2x minus 1 over x minus 2. That is pretty close. I just have to modify a little bit. Uh, if you can multiply both sides by negative 1, you're going to get the following. And this is just going to be the negative log 3 over log 2. Okay, we'll take care of the negative, don't worry about it. So now, um, this can be written, again, using the change of base in the opposite direction, this can be written as negative uh, log 3. But this time, we're using 2 as a base, all right? So now, let's go ahead and 
do 2 to the power both sides. 2 to the power 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 is the same as, you can forget about this, 2 to the power negative uh, 3 log 3 with base 2. Okay. How can I simplify this? Uh, notice that this is negative 1. This can be multiplied by the... Uh, we, this can become a power, so you can write it as 2 to the power uh, log of 3 to the power negative 1 with base 2. And then from the properties of logs again, this just becomes, because these bases are the same, this just becomes 3 to the power negative 1, which is the same thing as 1 third. Awesome. Sorry, I took too long. Maybe uh, something that could be done in a shorter way, but anyways, that's who I am. So let's do the second method. All right. For our second method involves the following. We have 12 to the power x equals 18, but I can write it as 2 to the second times 3, and that to the power 18. Now, and 18 can be broken down as well. Let's not forget it. So it's 2 times 3 squared. Great. So now we separated the 2s and 3s. Let's go ahead and distribute the power. It's going to be like 2 to the power 2x times 3 to the power x equals 2 times 3 squared, and kind of put together 2 to the power 2x divided by 2, and 3 to the power 2nd divided by 3 to the power x. So it's very similar to the first idea, but we're using exponents. We're not using any logs. That's what's really kind of cool about it. If you don't like logs, you know, but like logs because they're good. Okay, anyways, hopefully you do. Uh, so this is what I get by using the properties of exponents. And then now here's the really cool part. Remember, I'm trying to evaluate this expression, 2 to the power 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 2. And you have 2 to the power 2x minus 1. So it would only make sense if you raise both sides to the power 1 over x minus 2. So let me go ahead and take this guy and move it a little bit further so I can kind of put some stuff in front of it or behind it, whatever. Now, I'm going to be, well, I guess I have to, uh, okay, equal sign, I have to move that too. So let's put it here. Now, I'm going to be raising both sides to the power of 1 over x minus 2, and this one is going to be 1 over x minus 2, and then the left-hand side is going to give me what I need, 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 in the exponent. I know, I know, I wrote the wrong base. That's supposed to be a 2 there, okay? And then here, here's what happens on the uh, right-hand side. 2 minus x and x minus 2 are opposites. So when they're multiplied, the reciprocals, or when they're divided, I should say, rather, because this is kind of like 2x, 2 minus x divided by x minus 2, that becomes a negative 1, as long as x does not equal 2. And we know that x does not equal 2 because x equals some weird logarithmic or exponential thing, right? Okay, great. So we know x does not equal 2. Okay. So from here, uh, we get, what do we get? We get 3 to the power negative 1, which is equal to 1 third. And guess what? That's the answer. Awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method now. The third method uh, involves logs, but this time I'm going to use ln. Now, I'm not going to follow the same method exactly. I'm just going to ln both sides. Okay. And then I get the following. Let's go ahead and move x to the front. And uh, that's going to be like x times ln 12 equals ln 18. And I can isolate x by way of division. So far, it's pretty much the same thing. But this time, I'm not going to break down the 18 and 12. I'm going to just plug them in. All right? Or um, I can kind of do the following, I guess. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, let me tell you what I will be doing. I'm going to break it down. And uh, if you break it down, you're going to get 2 ln 3 plus ln 2. So let me save that trouble, ln 3, because these steps are hopefully... Um, obvious after especially after the first method so we get the following for x we're going to use this later on let's go ahead and work on this now i would like to call this y and you know why and then ln both sides here too so we're going to ln both sides i guess this is what makes uh, it different from the first method because uh, we didn't log both sides in the first method so here uh, i'm going to move this guy over here and that becomes ln y gives us 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 times ln 2. So here's where I substitute the x, okay? Remember, we had an expression. We have an expression for x, right? x is equal to this. So this is where it comes in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, substitute x for what it is. That's going to give me the following. If I multiply x by 2, I get 4 ln 3 plus 2 ln 2. Divide by ln 3 plus 2 ln 2. I hope you don't mind me 
uh, kind of going fast through this because we've done this. You know the steps, hopefully, especially if you've seen the first method. And then, so I'm multiplying, uh, I'm multiplying x by two, subtracting one. I'm just subtracting two from the x. All right, that's not a one. That's a two. All right, great. So and then this should be multiplied by ln two, of course. Now this expression might look very complicated, right? It kind of looks complicated, but guess what? It's going to simplify really nicely. So let's go ahead and do the following. Let's make a common denominator, or you can also do the following. But anyways, you get the idea. And when I do, the denominators are going to cancel out. So let's completely forget about the denominators of the numerator and denominator. We get 4 ln 3 plus 2 ln 2 minus ln 3 minus 2 ln 2. That is divided by 2 ln 3 plus ln 2 minus 2 ln 3 minus 4 ln 2. Again, let's go ahead and move this stuff a little bit to the left so we can have room. All right, here we go. And now, uh, this is going to be multiplied by ln 2. Let's not forget that, right? So far, I'm, uh, I got this expression, and don't worry, it's going to simplify. First of all, notice that these are going to cancel out. These are going to cancel out. Awesome. So we're going to get something real cool. We're going to have 3 ln 3 divided by negative 3 ln 2, multiplied by ln 2, and that is equal to ln y. 3 cancels out, ln 2 cancels out, and we end up with the following. ln y equals negative ln 3, ln y equals ln 3 to the power negative 1, and y is equal to 3 to the power negative 1, which can be written as 1 third. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.